Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about a website called borrowlenses.com. Um, I've never used it before, but I've got a couple of shoots coming up over the next couple of weeks and I'd like to try a new camera before I buy it. Um, so I want to try either the D750 or the D500. I think I'll go for the D500. Um, just because it's more similar to what I'm, oops, it's more similar to what I'm used to. Um, so I'm gonna go on borrowlenses.com and show you how Basically how I find it, give it a bit of a review, try it out myself and let you know if I think it's worth it or not. So I'm now on Google. I think it's just borrowlenses.com <coughs> So you can rent professional video and photo gear. How it works. Featured items. So it's quite a basic website, quite easy to understand. Okay, so photo, video. Okay, you can buy used gear as well, it's good to know. Um, new arrivals. Okay, so if there's anything new that's coming out that you want to try before you buy, you can obviously do that there. So I'm going to go on photo, and then DSLR, I guess, or do I go straight onto Nikon? Let's go on DSLR and see what's there. So I guess I could have just searched here straight away, but I'll have a look at Nikon and see what there is. Sorry if my saying Nikon annoys you, I know some people say Nikon. I'm a Nikon kind of girl. <laughs> um, so there's the D750, and then the D500 is there. So what you can do is you can, I think you can rent it for the amount of time you want, yeah, custom rental period, so you can put in any amount of days and it'll come up with a unique price, but I need it for two weeks. Um, so I'll click that. I think actually just to show you, so I think you can, um, yes, yeah, so if you click on the camera, it gives you the specs. Tells you a bit of description about the camera. Yeah, anyway, so you can find different information about the um, cameras and lenses and flashes and all sorts basically, so this camera is compatible with that, which is fine. Um, it also tells you what the what is included with the rental. And there's a full list of specs. It has manual mode and some reviews. So I'm going to choose, like I said, 14 days. Um, okay, so let's look at this. So it's $31.59 for the gear guard. So minor scratches or scuffs on the exterior of the equipment are considered ordinary wear and tear and will not result in damage ass assessments. Blah, blah, blah. So that's worth reading if you ever do go on this website. Make sure that you know what you're paying for. Um, I think actually for me, because I'm not going to be doing anything exciting, I'm just going to be doing a couple of photo shoots where I am. I don't think I'll do that, I don't think I'll need it. Because I'm not travelling with it, I'm not going to be going a long distance or doing crazy photo shoots. It's just going to be kind of in the park or, you know, I, don't think, I really don't think I'll need that. Um, plus it doesn't cover if you lose the camera and I think that's the, only, that's the only thing that could happen is it gets stolen. I'm not going to put it underwater or, you know, take it anywhere dangerous. So that doesn't even cover if it gets stolen or not, so I don't think I'll need that really. Okay, so add to cart. Okay, so I already had one in there because I wanted to show you what the um, website was like. So then if we go to checkout. So as you can see there, I've put the no waiver thing, but you can change it again there in the in the um, trolley if you want to. So arrival time. So I want it to come Monday the seventh for two weeks. So I can apply that. Um, ship to home. I'll do that one. And then you can choose the rental, the um, the shipping. So there's UPS or FedEx. 
and I had a look at FedEx earlier and it's a lot more expensive so to get it on Monday it's $66 whereas UPS is $37 or I can get it Tuesday okay let's yes yeah, it's Monday so Monday by the end of the day $37 So there's the item 209, I didn't pay for that, which I hope it's not going to be a mistake. And then the shipping, so total 246, which to rent a camera for two weeks, I'm, I don't know, it seems like a waste of money, but I honestly don't have $2,000 to spend on this camera that I want, so I'm just going to have to rent until I can afford to buy one. So that's just a quick, quick overview of the website. I've quickly put the things into the basket that I want, so I'm going to rent the D500 for two weeks without the insurance um, and with the quick delivery we're using UPS um, is going to be a total of $250 which I mean it's a lot of money for two weeks but then at the same time I don't have enough money to buy the camera outright so I kind of don't have much choice I'm going to have to keep renting until I get a steady income where I can start to spend the money on a camera um, but yeah so I will let you know when I place the order, I'll let you know when I receive the order, I'll let you know, I'll probably open it with you actually to show you the process of, you know, how it's packaged and show you what it looks like. Um, I'll then probably show you a bit of me shooting it, shooting with it, we'll see. Um, and then sending it off and then I give a final review of if I think it's worth it, if it's good, if I would recommend it to other people. Um, so yeah, keep on watching. So just to quickly let you know, I've just ordered the camera. Um, so it's now Friday the 4th and it's 10 to 3 in the afternoon and it's going to come by Monday and that seems pretty good to me um, if it comes on time obviously so the total of the camera was 209 um, the UPS was 37.95 taxes was 17.29 so the total is 264 and 24 cents so just bear that in mind that when you think it well when it says $209 to rent a camera it's actually going to be 265 so just add on about $55 to what you're expecting it to be and that'll be about right so just a just a heads up that there's the extra costs that you don't quite realize when you're looking through the website hey guys so it's Monday um, as you know I ordered this camera on borrowlenses.com on Friday at about 4 p.m. and it was um, it arrived today at 3 p.m. Um, so I just thought I'd open it with you basically and see how it's packaged and what exactly comes with it. Um, okay, where do we get in? This side. I might just move it back a little bit. Okay, so it opens up like this. It says we recycle, take photos, not trees, and it's got this padding on here. And then the camera is inside there. So I'll take this out and see if I get any instructions. Because I was wondering about um, the returns policy, like if I pay for postage or if it comes with a stamp or. Anyway, I'll, I'll see what I find. There's more packaging, more padding, and then the camera's here. And I'll pop that there for now. We've got the charger and a battery. Some papers and then some more padding. So that's pretty good padding, I think. I mean, it's, it's arrived here in one piece, and I think I'll be able to send it in one piece. So it says, thank you for ordering. Look inside for your invoice and return label. Um, return order must be postmarked by the 21st of May. So that's fine, so that's two weeks. So it just says um, return checklist. So check UPS same day postmark cutoff time. So I think, for example, if the UPS cutoff time is like 1 pm, you need to get it in to the post office or wherever you send it off by 1 pm. Double check your invoice before repacking the retail and remove personal items. Cover any old shipping labels and place the provided return label on the box. Deliver the rental 
to UPS before the same day postmark cutoff time. Um, make sure you get a receipt as proof and to avoid late fees do not use mail rooms, drop boxes, hotels, third party facilities, driver pickups or carrier pigeons. So who do I use? Are there UPS shops in America? I don't know, I've not. I've only been here a couple of weeks. I'm sure I'll find out online. Um, so there is the um, return label that I'll stick on the box. And then there's my receipt with all the information. So it says as well what's included, just so that when you do the checklist, when you pack it up, so there's the camera, the neck strap, there's a battery, um, there's the body cap, there's the battery charger and Nikon DK17 eyepiece. I don't know what the eyepiece is, but I'll Google it. Anyway, so it's arrived in one piece. Um, I'm pretty happy with the packaging and the delivery service and everything really. I mean, it's a bit expensive, so overall it cost me $264.24 for renting a camera for two weeks. Um, I mean, it's an investment because I wanted to know basically if I like the camera before I spend $2,000 on it. Um, so it's a good experiment for that. It's a good, I think it's good to try it for two weeks. Oh, looks like I've got antlers. Uh, sorry. Um, it's good to try it for two weeks to see if I like it before spending lots of money on it. Um, so yeah, let's, let's have a go. So this is how it comes. We've got the charger here with the battery. And that's with obviously the American plugs. So that's fine. It's Nikon and everything. And then the camera comes in this bag. Okay, so it's got an elastic band. I mean, it's all in pretty good shape. There's no... I mean, consider it second hand. I thought there might be some wear and tear on this or... It also, says on, on, it also says on the website to tell them of any wear and tear straight away. Um, I think within the first, I don't know how many hours it said. 72 hours or, I don't know, a certain amount of hours you've got to tell them beforehand. If you've seen any problems with it. So now what I've got to do is figure out how this thing works. So it's all arrived safely. It seems like it's in good condition. Um, so now I'm going to go and watch some YouTube tutorials to see how to set it up. Um, any certain settings I need to know or different where the buttons are and figure it out basically. So I've got a photo shoot tomorrow. So I've got this evening really to kind of get to know the equipment a little more and start to feel a bit more comfortable with it. But it definitely feels more pro than what I'm used to. So this is what I've got at the moment, which is, okay, it's got a huge lens on it, but this is the D5 300. This is the D5, um, so it's definitely bigger, um, and I hope it's good. So I'll let you know how I get on tonight, and um, then tomorrow at the photo shoot. Hi guys, so it's Thursday, and I wanted to give you a quick update on the camera that I rented from borrowlenses.com. So I borrowed the Nikon or Nikon D500, um, and I've got to say I'm loving it. Like, it's so nice to be able to rent a camera before you buy it, because... Even though I'm loving it, if I hadn't have loved it, I wouldn't like to have spent 2000 on a camera that I didn't love. Um, but it shoots really quickly, It's the quality is amazing. Like The photos that come out look like they've already been edited, already been, I don't know, they could be a cover of Vogue magazine, like it just looks incredible, the quality. Um, so I think I will be buying one when I have money, <laughs> after renting this one. Um, the one thing I would say specifically about this camera um, is that it holds a... XQD or QXD or whatever it's called card and I feel like I've just got an SD card and sometimes my SD card is inqui isn't quick enough to upload the, well, to save the images so if I do a burst of kind of 10 photos I then can't look at the photos straight away or I can't take more photos because it's putting it onto the SD card so I would say if you rent this one, if you buy this one as well um, make sure to buy one of the QXD, XQD, whatever it's called, cards that's quick enough for the camera because I feel like the camera's quicker than the memory card is at the moment and it's kind of slowed me down a little bit. So when I do buy the camera I will also be buying a memory card to go with it so that I can work as quick up, as quick as I want to because I feel that the moment is slowing me down and I have to kind of take a little bit more time previewing like looking at the photos and also taking more photos once I've done a burst. 
but apart from that I mean it works absolutely fine it's like brand new really um, no problems whatsoever um, yeah it's been great um, just so you know as well so on, I received it on Monday and had a bit of a play with it and watched a couple of videos which I'll link below to show you which ones I watched um, I had a bit of a play with it so then Tuesday I had a photo shoot for about three hours um, it was a model doing kind of fashion headshot kind of things and then yesterday I did a styled shoot for four hours um, so again it was kind of capturing lots of different things from portraits to wide angle portraits to details of shoes and rings and invitations and um, and I've been able to manage to do everything really um, like I said the only problem has been the slow the slowness of the SD card but that's my fault for not getting I should have hired one of the cards the Wigger cards to go with it um, but I've got a couple more shoots coming up so I've got um, so I've got a bachelorette party on Saturday, which should be good because if they do any jumping shots and things, I think this camera will be quick enough to take the photos. Because my old camera, the, sh the shutter speed was really slow, or well, the frames per second was really slow. Whereas this one's 10, so I built, you know, asked them to jump twice and that probably should be enough. Um, so I've got that on Saturday. And then next Tuesday I've got a model photo shoot with a guy with tattoos and we're going to go to Winwood and get some really cool shots, hopefully. And then Wednesday I've maybe got a kind of boudoir kind of shoot. And then next Friday I'm going to a friend's wedding that she said I could photograph. So I've got a couple more things lined up, which are all completely different as well, which is a good thing. Because it means I can really test the camera and really do different things and see if it is what I want to buy. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'll keep you updated um, on how it goes this weekend with the hen do, or the bachelorette party, um, with the jumping shots and running shots and anything else that we try. Um, and then next week, and then obviously I'll give, you a re I'll give you a review at the end. Hi guys, so it's Monday morning. It's two weeks after I first received the camera from borrowlenses.com. Um, I'm going to UPS today to take it back. I boxed up last night, so I took the... Um, SD card out, took the battery out and put that back in the charger, I put the bag, the camera in a plastic bag, um, made sure it was all securely packaged up and in the packaging that they sent it to me in, the original packaging. Um, so it's all nicely packaged up. I've put the sticker on, the um, return sticker that came in the package, I've put that on the front. Um, ripped off any labels that might have, might suggest it was to be delivered to me. Um, so I'm going to go to UPS now and drop it off um, today basically. Um, so I just wanted to talk about my experience with borrowlenses.com. Um, I've actually really enjoyed it. So the website was super, super easy to use. Um, I think the prices were reasonable, like it was 200, it turned out about 260 to rent the camera for two weeks. I didn't get the waiver insurance thing um, just because I knew I was going to be safe with it. I knew I was going to have it with me all the time. Um, but that included delivery and returns. Um, the camera came, so I ordered on the Friday, the camera came on the Monday, so I think that was really good, quick delivery service. The camera was in perfect working condition. I had to alter a couple of the settings um, just to make it to how I would use it. But apart from that, everything was fine and working well. Um, I've used the camera, I think, for six photo shoots in that two weeks. Um, so it's been really good and it's been good for me to sort of practice with that one before I buy it because it, it's quite expensive to buy. Um, it was been, it's been good to use it for two weeks to get my hands on it to kind of figure out the settings and where the buttons are and figure it all out and have a play with it basically before I spend a lot of money actually buying the camera. So if you're hesitating between two or three cameras or even lenses or flashes or anything really, I would suggest even renting one camera for a week, another camera for a week, another camera for a week for example. And then you can try them all out and maybe even overlap them a little bit by a day or two. So you can physically compare them with the size and the buttons and the weight of it and everything like that. Um, so I think the service was actually really great. I would definitely recommend them. I would definitely be going back. Um, I still don't have 2000 to spend on a camera. When I do, I will be buying a camera. But then even then, I probably would rent... A <coughs> but even then, I probably would rent a camera from borrowlenses.com is my second just because the two cameras that I've got are very starter beginner basic cameras um, so if I was to do a wedding or a big photo shoot I would you know once I've bought my 
big expensive one. I'd probably then rent a second one just to have the versatility and a second camera that's of good quality basically. Um, a professional camera. Um, so yeah, I think the whole thing's really easy, um, really practical. It's expensive for me, but then it's not as expensive as buying the camera itself. So it kind of works out for people who are either, they don't have the funds to buy things or like I say, if they do want to try different things because they're not quite sure what to spend the money on. This is it for this video. I'm really happy. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, let me know if you want to do any of the let me know if you want me to do any of the videos regarding camera things. I'm not an expert at all, but I'm quite interested in cameras because I'm a photographer. Um, so please like this video, please subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!